What's up guys, it's Alex at Tailwater Fly Shop. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie the blood knot. One of two knots you need for fly fishing, the blood knot. The knot that has no blood in it, the blood knot. Alright, so this is the finished product. This is what we're after. So, you notice very streamlined. There's uh, no tag-ins to speak of, okay? It's as smooth of a knot as we can make. And so we got a piece of uh, blue monofilament and a piece of yellow monofilament. I'll try and show you guys how to tie this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two pieces of mono and I am going to cross them, okay? I'm going to make an X with them. All right, then I'm gonna take one of the ends, I'm gonna start with the blue and I'm going to just wrap that around this yellow piece one, two, three times. Now I'm going to take that end, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see, and I'm going to pass it through the V that's made by the blue and the yellow, and then pinch it so it's facing downward. Now with the yellow, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap one two, three times, fine motor skills to the test. And so if you can see, this blue is passing through, down through this loop that's now created. And I'm going to take the yellow and I'm going to pass it the opposite way. So I'm going to go up through that loop. So now my two tag ends are sticking straight out perpendicular to the knot to which I'm going to now start to tighten down. So start to tighten it down. You can see they're sticking out in both directions. We have loops on either side. So I'm going to wet this really good. This is 50 pound monofilament so I'm going to give it a wrap around each one of my hands and with a steady firm pull I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, so you will know that the blood knot's tied correctly if the tag ends stick out perpendicular like this to the knot. And here's the beauty of the blood knot. Take my nippers, I can literally place them flush up against the knot. You can see, snip. flush up against the knot, snip. Now I have a blood knot that has nice tight wraps and it can go in and out of your guides very easily. 